Hello, everyone. Uh, when we last left off, we created a we created a small Rust project, and we ran that uh, we ran a little Hello World program as well as we counted from one to ten. So right now we're gonna get started on the Rust the Rust compiler itself. So let's create a new project. Uh, call your new compiler. So compiler. Uh, we just create a new project, and we created a little Hello pro World program. So let's go into our main file, and I guess the first thing in our compiler is that we need to be able to take in an input file, uh, in an input text file, and then just take that input text file. Oh, we just need to grab the input, the, the contents of an input text file. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the std environment, just like that. This will set up the command line arguments. So let orgs vec string equals environment orgs dot collect. What this will do is that get the command line arguments afterwards well we're just gonna read the command line arguments in from the command line so I guess let's see if orgs dot length equals zero then we just do Please provide an input file. Uh, then just return. Uh, uh, let's see. Else, if orgs dot length is greater than one, then we just say. Uh, too many command line arguments, just like that. Okay, and so from there, we're just gonna get the file name, a file name from the command line. So we're gonna get the first argument and set it equal. Uh, we're gonna set the file name equal to the first command line argument. And then we're just gonna just print it out, just for the sake of just making sure that everything is working. So call go run. Okay. And it just wants me to just add a, an ampersand. It wants me to borrow the value. And yep, that looks like it works correctly. So, uh, let's see, file name equals file name, mm -hmm. oh wait, what I want to do is actually if it's two and then if it's one, just like that. Okay, yeah, please provide an input file. Yep, looks correct. So, the first argument, I guess, is the path. The second argument will be the file, input file. So, to send command line arguments to Cargo, anything afterwards will be considered a command line argument. So, if we do Cargo run, like uh, out and I type that gibberish. Uh, this thing shows up over here. So the command line argument gets passed in is whatever parameter that you put after cargo run. And 
just to demonstrate it that again again let's talk Jack and Jill like that and if we type in cargo run Jack and Jill we get file name equals Jack and Jill so we have this string and then the file name is equal to file name so let's open up a file so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the I'm gonna include the standard FS FS means file system so I'm going to do FS read to string file name what this function does is that it reads in the file name it reads in all of the contents of it reads in all the contents of the file name it can re uh, it returns a result type uh, it returns a result type what a result type is is that it can either be a good result which is okay and okay means that does that we read from the style success we read from the file successfully in the case of okay uh, well there are two uh, there are two possibilities which is the first possibility is that it returns okay and what what happens in the okay state and it successfully reads from the file correctly the second one is an error case in an error case it returns returns an error of some kind and then you can just print out what the error is so what we're gonna do is we're going to match we're gonna use the match keyword what match does is that we it, it just takes uh, we're just going to check the cases so as you know, as I said before, you have the result type. We will check if in the OK case. So in the OK case, uh, file contents uh, in the OK case, we could just read in the file contents, uh, file contents, just like that. else we have an error e and then in this case error we did not open the file successfully and then we'll just print out the error also So please provide an input file. Cargo run, let's say, not a file.txt. And as you can see here, error, we did not input, open the file correctly. So if I just do cargo run main.rs, so I'm opening up the main.rs file. As you can see here, we opened the file successfully and we read all the contents of the file. So, I guess I'm just going to put success. We opened the file successfully. As you can see, we opened the file successfully and we just read all the contents of the file so I guess we can open other files so I'm just going to make a directory of examples and then we're just going to go 
and I don't know, create a small example, uh, add.tt, uh, func main int a, int b, int c, uh, a equals 100, b equals 50, c equals a plus b, and then we print c at the end. So if we, we can open files that are not main.rs, so if we do cogo run examples add.tt, we opened up the add.tt file. This will work with any file. So we opened the file successfully. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be all for this video. In the next video, we'll be going over Lexing.